All right, before we begin, I just want to say what's up. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy 16. Been playing for a very long time. I'm not even sure how far I am into this game currently, but I got to say that I've enjoyed every single moment about it. I mean, that Titan battle was insane, and I just got to say that anything else that's coming up, I'm looking forward to it. So, anyways, love you all. If you want more of this game each day, just keep all like support. And let's go ahead and get this. One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems his head was full of rocks after all. Titan was strong. Your Majesty. But Mythos is stronger. For five years, that man lived only for revenge. Clinging fast to a fiction, even as it swept him into the abyss. One cannot change one's nature through force of will alone. Only the Almighty can do that. Hugo Kupka, the man who gave his life for a woman's head. A fool like all the rest. of a mother crystal should be so beautiful. Some medicine, my lord? Salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin, or you'll feel the back of my hand. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmecs suspect nothing, and as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. Forgive me, Terence. Would that you were my master. But alas, I will always be your loyal servant. Should the Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault, our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the Central Isles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the Southern defenses 
and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. There is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> Would that I could avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, Your Highness. What is it? has been made emperor. What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, your highness. His radiance requests that your highness maintain position here and... Gah! Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. I'll ready your steed. <gasps> what is it now? Forgive the intrusion, your highness. I know you. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Do I address a ghost? Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. Man, so much has happened in like the last 20 minutes. I mean, we had that massive boss fight with the Titan, and we're going back to the hideaway now. Okay, here we go. All right, out of the shadow. Here we go. I'd better give Otto the good news. Always it's still weird that like some people call me Sid, some people call me Clive still in this game. Like I understand he's taken over kind of Sid's journey and all that. Or not really his journey, but his life essentially. Carrying out his legacy. Oh wait, hold on. Before we do anything, I have. Welcome to the I have a higher Welcome. amount now for this. Let me just see what we Here's got. Everything we've received and everything promised. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Here you are. Berserker ring. Come again. I can only Come imagine again. what that does. Hold on. With each precision dodge. Okay. Man, you know what? That's not bad. That is, uh... I wish I knew by how much. You know? But... 
I dodge a lot, but I'm kind of wondering if there's a way to test this out. Like, is it 10%, 20%? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. No, I think we're good. Clive, you're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident Physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waluda's must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? The Kingdom of Wulud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Wulud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Wulud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the Royalists betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. 
and your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. All right, go spread the word. Here we go. I do like how we come back here and pretty much do the same thing every time. We always go talk to everyone. We kind of get some updates. Where's Jill? Can we talk to Jill? It's good to have you back. I was worried. She's probably my favorite character in the game. All right, let's talk to everyone. Here we go. Well, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kupka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'll start to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. Before we leave, I'll talk to everyone, like, officially. Blackthorn. Here we go. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Kupka is dead. <laughs> I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. Uh, a new beginning under a new Sid. <laughs> I'll try to live up to the name. Yeah, I'm gonna come back and talk to them and see if they got any upgrades, which I'm pretty sure they do. Ah, Clive. Have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kupka is dead. children these are tears of joy we must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us there shall be no lessons today only thanksgiving and merrymaking go put away your things all right brilliant finally a new dawn has broken it has Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him. With my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. 
We see only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. I always feel like after every major mission, it's like it's a nice little change of pace to have some downtime. Cause that I mean that Titan fight was insane. One of the most insane boss fights I've ever seen in a video game. true. And it was so many phases and like When I saw the second phase, I was like, there's no way we're fighting this, right? And here we go. You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running air rhythms or something. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Mm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Alright, speak with Mid. I think we gotta go all the way back around. Hold on. Can I? Uh, let's see. I think I have to go... Is it up these stairs and down on the other side? I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think it is. Here we go. The hideaway is always, like, a very chill vibe. I like it. I think it's the soundtrack, too, more than anything. What is this? All right. Old Pharma Auto keeps chocobos and antelopes. Uh, after five of his stock fell ill, he put them in his barn to rest. However, Otto woke up the next morn uh, to discover that the leg eater had found its way into the barn. He devoured three of the limbs, one of the antelopes. Antelopes have four legs, I think, so to make certain all remaining legs were accounted for, he did a tally and satisfied when he counted 13. How many chocobos are in the barn? All right, maybe my math is wrong, but I think the answer is two. Because the way I'm thinking about it is antelopes have four legs. He had 16 total, three were gone, so he had 13 left over. You have to get two 16, but you only have five total. You can't do chocobos because it's like two each time. Uh, so you want to do antelopes. I would say you need three antelopes to give you 12. And then you need two chocobos to give you 16. And then you... Yeah, I think that's right. Maybe I'm wrong though. Who knows? Did I just... Hold on. Just go like a full route around for no reason? <laughs> Alright, here's mid. Here we go. If I don't come up with something soon. What? Alright, Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. The thing is, it's so involved that 
I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I was hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts making. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor, then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make head nor tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. All right, speak with Blackthorn. Here we go. I think I can go up again. Yep. All right, gonna be looking for parts for something called the Enterprise, which is a ship her and her dad worked on. So we'll see how this goes. Wait, wait, can you cut through here? No, you can't. Okay. Everything's pretty cut off around the areas. <laughs> it's like you gotta know where you're going. Hey, appreciate all of you joining me each day on these videos. I know I've skipped a few days here and there, but these longer parts, sometimes I just... I mean, it just takes so long to produce the videos, so I really appreciate all the likes and support. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? How with it? It's the mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. And spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Krieger's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy, though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will ya? Alright. So Lid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperatures she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an handcoat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. We'll make your minds up who's going where, and we can get this over with. Letting off steam one. Uh oh. All right. Uh, gather the necessary materials. Speak. Actually, do we have everything? You going after the stardust, then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Uh, let's see. Does this really matter that much? Let's take Gav. Gav. You're with me. All right, then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Dallamil. 
I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of the stuff from Blackthorn's supplier. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece you. Fleece me? I'd like to see him try. <laughs> In your own time. All right, make for the river in the south. Okay, letting off steam was still going on. Let me see if I can forge anything that's gonna be beneficial. Okay, okay, this is actually better. Just by default, interesting. Any of these better? Oh, that one is. Wait, I'm missing. Okay, white worm bone. Okay. I feel like if you upgraded that to plus two, it would surpass this one I currently have. Hmm. Definitely gonna make this. Earth and Fury. Yeah, I mean, I might as well. It lost you a good one. I'm wondering if I can increase it to... Look at the... Oh, the di... Wait a minute. Diamond Sword? What is this White Worm Bone that I'm missing? Uh, let's see. Let's, hold on, let's try to reinforce what I just made. I need a bone necklace. Alright. Anything else? Let me see if I can buy anything really quick. But imagine her shop is updated. Well, don't just stand there gawping. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Hmm. Can I buy. I don't see any other upgrades right now. We got more accessories. That's the same ones from earlier. Are any of these worth even buying? Doesn't seem like it is. Why, right? Hold on. Can you buy stuff I'm missing? It's by rarities, so I'm guessing not. Okay. I don't have any Desert Rose. As far as I remember, isn't Desert Rose what you use against the Ruby Weapon and 7? I could be wrong. Every time I think about buying an elixir, I just think about what if I start getting them to drop, you know? And it, it's like wasting of gill, essentially. All right, selling anything? I think I'm good. I think everything's, everything seems fine. Okay. Now we're going to be heading out to right down here. Here we go. And we got here quick. What in the world? I still think the fastest load times in any game I've ever played is Ghost of Tsushima. Like, you fast travel and it's instantaneous. Even the game's startup time. Looks like I found the river. Where's Gav? I remember when that game first launched on PS4. How they had like tips on the loading screen, but you couldn't read them. So they like they like nerfed the load times or something like that. I'm not really sure. That's that's wild. Ran Straight right into the wall. Now. There we go. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if Stardust is what Blackthorn wants, Stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about, just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. You want to race? All right, buddy. Hold on, wait, can I go back? Let's look at the map really quick. Looks like go around this and go straight down. Yeah. Head back this way and go circle around this. Probably take a break here in a minute. I didn't realize I've been playing for two hours and 12 minutes. Which is rare that I wouldn't know that, you know? All right. Got some desert roses.
Wait, what? Thanks, girl. There we go. Why is it slashed out? One of five. Okay, we got the one up here as well. It just looks like black sand to me. I didn't think we'd actually come down here. <laughs> More stardust. Let's go. If I'm not mistaken, there's a song that I always remember by... I'm guessing it's a group called Stardust. Really? There we go. But it's called Music Sounds Better With You. It's actually a good song. That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. All right, hopefully this is enough. Deliver the Stardust. Here we go. You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. It's funny we have to actually hand it over. We can't just auto do it, you know? Oh, f you win. That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Hey, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Right, that's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Right. Ready to go home, boy? Oh. Alright, speak with Blackthorn. So we only just came here for that. Interesting. I guess we go to the world map now and just head on back to the uh, hideaway over here. Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. All right, see what we got. Kind of wondering what's next, because it seems like the main villain of the whole thing is Ultima. We've already taken down Hugo, or Titan, I guess. I mean, we've had a lot of amazing boss fights in this game already, but it's like you'll take one down and like the next storyline begins, you know? It's kind of cool. Blackthorn, got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the Stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tud all the time. 
I'll make a start on putting this firm all plating together, then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. All right, quest complete. Nice. We got 500 XP. Nice. Okay, the fact that we got we got goblin coin. Everything can be traded for gill, but get him back to work too. Give us a shot if you need anything. All right, looks like we're good. Port back to mid again. Navigating this area has been kind of tough because I'm like struggling to find out. Like, does this link up to the other area? Let's see. I don't think it does. It stops here because you can go out these doors, but yeah, it doesn't go across. Never mind. I wish you could hop down, or at least go around that. You know, like why would that door even be there? Oh wait, we haven't looked at these in a minute. I'm gonna like let the screen kind of be on these for a second. Feel free to pause it if you need to. That's two from Jill, okay. Sid the second. Would you get anything for interacting with the wall back here either? Wall of memories. We got a second one now. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I think before we start the next major... I guess, like, leaving the area. I'm wondering if it's gonna say pivotal moment again. Because I felt like that Titan fight, it should have said, Hey, before you leave... You can be doing this for a while, because that was a long battle. I kind of wish you could just fast travel over to... Well, I guess you don't really need to, is what it is. Probably come back and interact with all the other icons in my spare time when I'm not actually recording, because I feel like that might take a while. Or at least put all the side quests on the actual map itself. I'm actually curious, if you had to pick your favorite story-driven game kind of like this, what would you say is one of the best ones you've ever played? If I don't come up with something soon... You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent! One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? Right. Art the helm. Oh. Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the Mithril engine, in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now. Were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. 
The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbet's Pass, near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um, going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. All right, speak with uh, Mid's assistant. Let's see, gather the nested materials. All right, so now we're going to go somewhere else. And so it's going to be like a three-part thing. Okay, go to the world map, see what we got. If each one is as easy as that first one, should be kind of nice. We'll see. All right, I just have one question for you. Did you notice it? This is a brand new day recording for me, by the way. I transitioned with me loading in. And I just sat down to record. I had to stop. So the Titan fight kind of took over. Made one video like an hour and a half. So I didn't have enough left over for an hour. So I'm kind of adding to everything I've done. Which should be like 40 something minutes into the video right now. If I had to guess. Anyways, here we go. Letting off steam. Hold on. Where are we going? So we can go... Cut through here. It looks like it links up, and then we got to go all the way through Cutter's Gate. All right, let's try this. You're quite talented with that rod of yours. Wait a minute. Why is it so dark over here? You know, I think I got to get up top up there. Yeah, this might be the right way. So last time I played, there was actually an update since then. And now they've added a few things. I'll actually show you really quick what they updated. Which I normally don't do this, but I figured since I did kind of take a look at it. Alright, so one thing they added was motion blur. It was all the way at like 5 by default. I took it off. Because I feel like it kills visuals sometimes. And this right here that was type A, B, and C. Now it goes all the way to F. Which I'm just going to keep it on A since that's what I'm used to. There's no way I'm changing it now, you know. I think... Hold on. This might be the right way. Yeah, let's go the right way. Okay. We are good. Thank you all for supporting this series up to now. I know it's a long game, but I'm going to be honest with you. Once it's over, I'm going to be really happy I finished it. Not the most viewed thing. You know, it is what it is, but I got nothing else to play right now. Plus, it's a great story game. If the game ever releases on, like, PC or... I don't know. They said it's never come out on anything other than PS5, which I find hard to believe. I've just had a lot of fun there with it. Alright, chuckabo time. Let's get it, baby. Uh-oh, what is this? Five gil. Completely worth my time. We got some enemies. I guess I could fight them, but... Not really any point to it yet. We are cruising right now. I'm assuming those ads back there were for people that didn't get the Chuckabo Quest thing done. Alright, it's still in the area. Hold on. Gather the necessary materials. Here we go. Be safe. I gotta go around the fence. Here we go. Oh, there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are... Just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. I just looked down at my arm during that little uh, dialogue, and I forgot my daughter drew all over my arm earlier. Went to her little uh, sports class I take her to, and then went to the store next to the house. All right, here we go. Anybody home? Oh. 
This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. All right, here goes. I'm just kind of throwing everything I got. It's going to be a quick stagger right here. Here we go. All right, time for the wind up. Big damage. Big damage. Oh, goodness. One common thing I've seen since this game has dropped is seems to have a pretty big following. Nice try. But I also see the uh oh. That's an instant death thing, isn't it? There we go. Big damage, big damage. But I've seen uh a lot of people talk about how easy the game is, which I can kind of see it sometimes, but it also has a Final Fantasy mode in like a new game plus that apparently is a lot more difficult and more traditional, I guess. There we go. This should do it. Enough. Enemy slant. I can't imagine we get a lot from that. 150 XP? Say what? All right. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. All right, quest complete. Nice. That was actually very easy. What? 600 XP? Nice. Hey, we'll level it up from that. All right. Any diminishing returns? Okay. Instead of... Yeah. Instead of things increasing by three all over, now we got like attack going up by two, defense by three still. Stagger two. Vitality three still. Okay. Die of the warrior. Let's see. Strength tonic. I haven't used that... Other than one time. And I forgot what fight it was. I report back to mid. I had a friend who messaged me. He's like, hey, have you finished this game yet? He got it way after me. And I just thought it's funny how... I went out before YouTube, I would finish games usually within like a couple days after having it, you know? Especially if it's a pretty easy game. This is one of those I probably would have like no lifed it for 72 hours. And then been like, I can't wait for other people to finish it so I could talk about it, you know? Alright, let's go to the main map. Going back to mid. Should take us right over here to the uh, hideaway. So we're building a ship called the Enterprise. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to play into effect. Here's one thing I have noticed about this game. Not to talk about Final Fantasy VII anymore, really. Other than, like, a few moments here and there. Like, the combat really doesn't resemble it. But it's everybody calling Clive Sid. But some people still call him Clive. Reminds me of the whole Zack and Cloud thing. Like, big time. Alright, we got more of this. I just want to see if it increased... Uh, enough to get anything else. You back so soon. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Haven't got this yet. A rose. Oh, it's a orchestra thing. Let's go ahead and get that. All yours. So this is essentially like overall points. What is the last thing you can get? Dire Wolf Jess. Cleric's Medallion. That sounds like it would be a cure type Best thing. Luck out there, Sid. Maybe. I haven't taught. Hold on. What's the matter, Nectar? The hunt board? 
It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Right. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Alastia are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. <laughs> All right, I think I'm probably good here. I don't want to overdo the side stuff while I'm still in the main series, and plus, this is a very long game. To a point where I also feel like... I don't think it's going to be in the 30s as far as part number goes. For instance, like that last video... So this is like towards the end of this one, but... That last video, there's like, there's no way I could have ended that video in the middle of the Titan fight. You know? That's why it was such a long video. Here we go. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shield in. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Hippocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. Alright, see what it says. Out of the shadow. I feel like the overall, like, year so far has been one of the best gaming years I've ever been a part of. Because, I mean, you got to think about all the stuff that has happened. We have had, seriously, epic game after epic game. Some I didn't even play, you know? Like the Zelda game. Like, I really want to play that one day, but... I don't know. I haven't used my Switch in a while. <laughs> I wanted to show you something really quick. Check this out. So, I didn't know this, but I was kind of curious when I was showing out. I was wanting to see what the arcade mode actually is, and apparently... I'm guessing you refight some of the bosses. Which... is awesome. The fact that that's even there. We got stage replay as well. Look at that. I didn't realize it was going to be like that. That's... Seriously giving me, like, Devil May Cry vibes. This should be a fun conversation. Here we go. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? All right. Thermal shielding designs. Here we go. Shielding for a mithril engine? Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside. 
and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the Dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game... Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. All right, letting off steam. Three. Oh, wait, we got to speak with him again. Hold on. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? Uh, I'm 100% taking Jill. Here we go. Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. All right, make for the North Reach markets. All right, I think we can actually just fast travel out of here, which is what I'm about to do. World map, let's see where we're going. All right, this might be the end of the video, but thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next part. All right, peace.